Hey Marvel Legends fans, this is David Diaz coming back at you with another Marvel Legends video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Legends Infinite Series, uh, the Ant-Man wave, Ant-Man. Uh, this is not the original Ant-Man uh, costume, this is, I think this is, if I'm not wrong, I think in the comic book they call him Black Ant. Um, I'm not, I forgot who the guy is in the suit. But I know it's not the, uh, I think it's Hank Pym or something. I know it's not him. So this is another, I guess it's a clone of Ant-Man. But it looks pretty good. I do like this figure. Um, the, the costume design looks pretty cool. I'm probably thinking of getting another one and customizing it into the uh, the original color of Ant-Man. Like I'm going to paint this whole, this whole black section red. Uh, of course this uh, circle thing black, um, blue with his glove and his feet. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing it. Um, for now, I'm not going to do it, but, uh, maybe if I get another Ant-Man, I'm probably going to customize him. So let's take him out of the pose. Um, if you're not, if you guys are concerned, yes, he is. Uh, he is using the same body mold or mold, uh, for, uh, Spider-Man, the piece of Spider-Man, which is okay, I guess, um... For me, he looks a little bit too skinny for Ant-Man. Um, I'm not sure I'm, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Tell me if you guys think he, he's supposed to look like this, or he's I don't know if they should have uh, put this head on a Bucky cap instead. Um, but yeah, it's all right. It's still pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this figure is the paint. The paint is really sloppy online. Um, as you can see, the camera can focus. There's a little bit of bleeding there. The black bleeding through the red. I have a feeling that Hasbro didn't put a lot of uh, paint or coat, a lot of coat on the chest, so it looks the red looks a little bit darker than the rest of the red of the body. Um, so yeah, the, the, yeah, it looks pretty good here, so it's all good. Yeah, you got a little bit of mist bleeding there, which sucks. The back looks okay, I guess. Uh, it does have the hole. And yeah, that's pretty much the head sculpt. Really nice. I really dig the head sculpt. Um, I really like the orange outline that they go through his helmet. Uh, it looks like uh, I, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a glowing effect. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a glowing effect on like the eyes and I, I don't know what this is, but this is. But the eyes look pretty good. The the mouth looks pretty good. The paint looks you know decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. So yeah, you can tell this is the piece of Spider-Man body mold because of the long uh, torso, which kind of sucks because I really don't like the long torso. I, I really wish they used the like the Superior Spider-Man because the Superior Spider-Man has a short, uh, shortened uh, torso, and the piece on the Spider-Man 2099 has the long torso, which sucks. But it's all good. It's good. So yeah. So for the articulation, his head can go up that far can look down that far, can look side to side, uh, it kind of has like a head pivot, mine's a little bit loose, which uh, it's a little annoying, but I could probably fix that, um, his arms can go all the way around, he has an armpit joint, double jointed knees, I mean, uh, elbow, bicep swivel, wrist swivel, hinges that goes up and down, has an ab crunch that goes far that much, can go back that far as a waist swivel waist swivel his belt is just a separate piece uh, he does have a upper thigh swivel his legs can go out that far can go back that far can go out that far can go in that far uh, he does have double jointed knees no calf swivel unfortunately and he does have ankle pivot and goes up and down so it's all it's uh, the articulation on this guy is really good There's pretty much not there's not a lot to say about this guy. He's pretty much a, a Spider-Man, a piece of Spider-Man body, uh, just with a Ant-Man head, and painted differently. But uh, you know, this is this is a really good figure. If you guys are a fan of the Black Ant, I would suggest you pick this guy up. Uh, unfortunately, he's a Walgreens exclusive, so, so he's kind of hard to find. Um, I found mine luckily. Um, I think I found two. But uh, the other one that I saw had really bad paint apps. Uh, I think this one is better than the one I got. Uh, the one I got is better. So, yeah. So here he is with the size comparison. Here he is with Vision. Did 
that I just reviewed. Oh, and he falls. Okay, let me uh, take him out of the pose and make him just stand up normally. Okay. So here you go. So uh, Ant Man is a little bit taller than Vision, unfortunately. Of course, Spider Man, you know, because he's skinny. Um, the body is skinny, so it looks more taller. And I'm guessing the torso makes him look taller. But the only thing I don't like about the long torso is because. Sure, it looks fine in the body on the upper part of the body, but the longer or the bottom part of the body just looks weird. It makes his leg look really short and you know just not proportion right. So yeah, so that's him with Vision, which is good. I like this. Uh, I don't know if Ant Man is supposed to be taller than Vision. I don't know. I think Vision is. That's my guess. Uh, he doesn't come with a build a figure. He just comes by himself. Unfortunately, it's all, it's good. Uh, it would have been nice to come with more accessories, maybe interchangeable hands or interchangeable head. It's, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this guy. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I, uh, if you guys like the Black Ant, I recommend this figure for you. If you guys don't like this and you like the classic Ant Man, um, then I would suggest you get the Toy Biz version that came out a long time ago. So yeah, that's all I have to say guys. So please comment, subscribe. Please tell me you guys think of this fig figure. If you guys like them, if you do have them, please tell me in the comments down below. And this is David Diaz signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching.